Contextual targeting. As discussed earlier, contextual targeting enables an advertiser to show ads in the context of another site. For example, if a company makes coffee-related products like espresso machines, mugs, and coffee makers, the advertiser can set their ads to show on coffee-related websites. Contextual targeting is often used to influence purchase decisions. To achieve greater coverage in your marketing campaign, enter your ad campaign in the Google Content Network and structure the campaign so it is served to those people already interested in your products or services. In this table, we see a summary of some key differences between search targeting and contextual targeting. If you want an ad to run on the search network and the content network, it is best to create two separate campaigns, one structured for search and one structured for the contextually targeted advertising. This allows you to structure each campaign with different goals. Contextually targeted ads show on many web properties. Acceptable ad formats include text, image, flash, video, and gadget ads. Keyword themes are shown in each ad group. The bidding options include CPM and content bids. The reach of the Google Content Network is extremely broad, reaching over 75% of unique internet users in more than 20 languages and over 100 countries. If you advertise on both the Google Search Network and the Google Content Network, you have the potential to reach three of every four unique internet users on Earth. The Google Content Network comprises thousands of high quality websites, news pages and blogs displaying targeted AdWords ads. There's no larger network for contextual advertising in the world. As an AdWords advertiser, you can select sites from the Content Network or let Google's proven ad targeting display your ads on web pages most relevant to your products and services. Contextually targeted ads are configured in your AdWords account to only appear on content partner sites. Search targeted ads are configured to only appear on search sites. Here is an example of a contextually targeted advertisement. In this example, ski.com.au automatically displays a Google ad as a banner ad and also an image ad on the left side of the page. In this second example, Google is serving an ad precisely targeted to the camera being reviewed on a camera review website. The camera advertisement is shown in context with the review of the same types of products. Let's take a moment to look at the typical buying cycle and how the Google Content Network can be of value. First, when advertising a product or service, you want to create awareness. Do this by using text, image, flash, and video ads to showcase your brand. This will increase awareness of your products or services across thousands of content network sites. Second, your ads will appear on sites highly relevant to your products and services. As a result, your advertisements are already aligned with the interests of people visiting those sites. By highlighting your unique products, pricing, or other competitive advantages, you can convert casual visitors into buyers who want what you're advertising. Your ad's clear call to action, such as order now and save 10%, can encourage the most appropriate buyers to respond and close the buying cycle with a sale. Here is the basic process for creating a contextually targeted campaign. First, define your campaign goals. Second, create the campaign ad groups and keywords. Third, measure the performance of your campaign. Fourth, optimize the campaign. Let's talk about each of these steps in more detail. When starting a new advertising campaign, you should define your campaign goals. For example, let's say your company sells soccer equipment. A first goal of your new contextually targeted ad campaign could be to build brand awareness. Your goal is to make soccer players more aware of your brand. Once potential customers are more aware of your brand, the second goal could be to have more soccer players seriously consider a purchase. And the third goal would be to have the potential customer actually purchase your products. You will need to structure your contextually targeted ad campaign to support these goals. 
Let's look at creating a contextually targeted campaign in AdWords. Every campaign has ad groups. The ad group is the basic family unit of AdWords. It's a collection of ads and keywords you build around a common theme. The AdWords system looks at this overall theme to determine if your ad relates to a particular content site. That's why each ad group in a contextually targeted campaign should focus on a specific theme and a specific audience. Take Sarah's soccer store, for example. Instead of creating one ad for soccer, Sarah set up these ad groups, soccer balls, soccer shoes, soccer jerseys, and soccer shorts. Once the ad groups were set up, Sarah specified the keywords to trigger the ads. The keywords relate closely to her ad group theme. In this example, under the ad group or theme of soccer shoes, she created the following keywords, soccer shoes, soccer cleats, soccer boots, and soccer footwear, etc. Each ad group should have a cluster of keywords which relates to one another, but which provide variations within the theme. The closer the relationship and the more precise variations, the more likely it is that your ad will find the right audience. Now let's look at how Sarah wrote the actual advertisements. First, she came up with two ads, a text ad and a video ad. She wrote sharp, compelling ad text that reflected her keywords list. The text ad tells the audience exactly what she has for them, soccer shoes. She used keywords in the ad text, soccer shoes, 20% off, free shipping, order now. The ad tells readers why they must click the ad. She then repeated the ad text, or at least its theme, on her website's landing page. In the video ad, she has chosen to show the product prominently, naming it, and with a call to action to order now. Next, she has set her ads to show on the Google Content Network. Once her campaigns were created, they are now running on the Content Network. What's next? Determining how the ads are performing. After your contextually targeted campaigns have been running for a week or two, use the AdWords reporting tools to take a look at the campaign's performance. Go to the Reports tab and select Create Report. Under Step 1 for the report type, select Placement Performance. Then, choose the time frame of data you want to see. Choose a date range between at least one to two weeks. The results of the Placement Performance Report look like this. A Placement Performance Report shows performance statistics for ads on specific domains and URLs. Sarah gets information on where her ads are shown, as well as the CPM, conversions, and conversion rate. Before running the report, try implementing Google Conversion Tracking, a free program accessible in your account. Conversion data often provides the clearest insight about how your ads are doing on a specific site. The Placement Performance Report helps Sarah reach her marketing goals by giving increased transparency into her campaign's performance on the Google Content Network. Here are some tips for analysing a Placement Performance Report. At the beginning of the ad campaign, Implement Google's conversion tracking so you can understand how individual sites are converting for you. Don't focus on click-through rate. Remember, a low CTR on a site does not mean your ads perform poorly. Users behave differently on content pages than they do on search sites. For more telling information, rely on your conversion data. Respond to only statistically significant data. It can take several weeks before you can see how your ad is doing on a specific site. Wait until you have enough click and impression data before making decisions. Identify sites that are converting particularly well for your campaign and take steps to increase your exposure on those sites. Enable the content bidding feature to bid more aggressively on those sites or target them through a placement targeted campaign. Now that you understand how well your campaign is performing, let's look at how you can optimise your contextually targeted campaign. Optimization of your ad campaigns is the process of capitalising on what works well and changing the campaign components that don't work well. As you optimise your campaign based on your performance data, remember to stay on message. 
understand your customer, adjust your CPC upward or downward as necessary, track your conversions over time and test again and again. You've looked at reports and found things that didn't work well and removed them from your account. By understanding your customer, you can create negative keywords. For example, you may sell soccer balls, but not soccer flags. To prevent unwanted clicks, add the negative keywords minus flags and minus banners to your account. Additionally, you can use site exclusion. For example, if you find sites on the content network where you don't want your ad to appear, use AdWords site exclusion to tell the system not to show your ads on those sites. Now you have learned how to create an effectively contextually targeted ad campaign. You can continue with success on the content network following these best practices. Create separate campaigns for contextually targeted ads. Use the site exclusion tool to focus on sites matching your campaign goals. Set bids at ad group level. Base each ad group around a single theme. Test different ad formats, text, image, video and gadget. Point all ads in a particular ad group to the same destination URL. Create short keyword lists, use negative keyword lists and write compelling specific ads. When creating a contextually targeted campaign, try not to do the following. Do not create different destination URLs per ad group. Avoid bidding at the keyword level. Never use keyword matching options. Refrain from including both singular and plural keywords. Try to have short keyword lists, less than 50 keywords per ad group. Do not create just one ad group per campaign and don't choose generic landing pages for each ad group.